right, good morning. Happy Vlogmas Day 9. I am, no, is it 9? Is it 10? Happy Vlogmas Day 10. It was 9. Breakfast sandwich situation. Feeling better in the household. Jared doesn't have a sore throat anymore. I didn't wake up sick. We're just gonna go with that. I have a client holiday party tonight um, for my amazing, one of my amazing clients. I went to this one last year. Um, they always have it at the Children's Museum locally here. And it's so fun. It's just like adults. And I think some people do bring their kids though. So that's nice for them. But the adults take over the museum and it's just iconic. Um, for those of you who don't know, I used to work there at the Children's Museum. It is a bit of a throwback to go there. Um, but it's just epic. I also used to be a kid who went to the museum. Um, I took summer camps there, but they have a different location now um, than they had when I was a kid. But we are going to get work done and see what we can do. Um, I have a doctor's appointment today. I'll tell you more about that in a second. It's a little mini one today. Light is a lot. Um, I ended up getting the Radiance Anti-Aging Day Cream. Back Choil, Baco Choil, I don't know how you say that, uh, Repair Complex, it's like a little sample bottle. They can't all be full size, you know what I mean? I get that this is very expensive, but um, I can't wait to try. I am 28, so I'm definitely a little bit too old um, to be trying uh, anti-aging stuff. Like, should have started earlier, I should say, um, but I'm still very excited to try it. Um, also, I said in my Instagram that I'm looking for um, like an under eye cream so if any of you have one that you love comment it I would love to try it okay so to go over my doctor's appointment so you can kind of chat through that um, about a month ago during um, Thanksgiving I mentioned like that week I mentioned feeling like a little mass in like my right breast and just being like, okay, that's kind of weird, but like I'm a hypochondriac. So I went in thinking she would just be like, girly, like there's nothing there. You're freaking yourself out. But she didn't. She said, yes, there's a mass. <laughs> um, and I have had like fibrocystic um, breast condition in like my teens. So it could just be that probably nothing but they say you know get it checked out it's really important that like when you notice something new or off to like figure it out so she wants just to order a um ultrasound just to like have it done so that is this morning or this afternoon rather so at 11 30 we are headed off um to go get that done it's at like a radiology clinic um and ultrasounds apparently are like super painless super quick um but on the off chance they are a little concerned, I might have to get a biopsy and that's really <laughs> not ideal. So I don't think I would do that today. Um, I like have kind of already made that mental decision of like I have too much going on right now this month. Um, but I mean 80% of everything that's biopsied also comes back benign and not cancer. So we're far from the cancer diagnosis, I believe. Um, I'm just, you know, a little worried. I watched this vlog um, of this other gal who's in the UK. She's incredible. Um, love her vlogs. They're very like calming and like kind of like farm vibes. Um, and she also had the same thing, a little different, like it was in her armpit, but um, she had the exact same experience and they were like, oh yeah, this is just like this kind of tissue, like you're probably fine. So we will see. Send me all the good vibes through the screen. We are heading home. I had a lovely, lovely investigation day. So I went and got my little lumpy right breast checked. Um, apparently my, this is like so TMI and just like random. If you don't want to listen, just skip through. Um, but people my age uh, with female breasts have a dense breast tissue, typically like it's normal. And then I actually have like cystic breasts, like fibrocystic. Um, I had like a huge breast cyst, um, probably the size of a golf ball when I was like 13, 14. It hurt so fucking bad. Um, and like literally like you couldn't have like a shirt or a blanket, like touching it. It was like hot and it hurt so bad. So that's like the extreme where like you have to like get cyst drained, which I luckily did not have to, that's so disgusting. Um, 
mine just like deflated and went away on its own. But that's the only time I've ever had like a noticeable cyst, but that's just a condition. So my breasts probably have little cysts in them. Um, and so that's what's happening is there's like lots of little cysts around my breast. She said, uh, that is normal and it's not cancer. I mean, obviously, but just benign, like little cysts. Uh, thank God we did not need one more thing going into 2023. Um, I'm just going to like give you the rundown like while I drive. Um, so in case you're ever interested, like it's really important, get your breast checked. If there's any abnormalities, you need to tell your doctor. Um, but in case you're curious, like what it is, what all goes into it, how the process goes for me, I went to our local like radiology clinic. So you like sit in this little tiny booth, put a little hospital gown on, like a little cape, it, like buttons in the front. And then you, it's kind of like your self like your normal checkup but like not the full gown just like a crop top very chic very cute I know I put a little clip in um, I was giving grandma realness um, and then they take you they lead you into like a ultrasound room or like a doctor's room it's very nice and you lay down in the bed and then they squirt gel all over your titty and um, I think it has like a certain property so it's warming gel I was really concerned it was gonna be freezing um, but they like make it warm. So it has like a warming sensation. You're never cold. Um, and then you just sit there and it's kind of uncomfortable. That's like the best way I would explain it. Like there were some moments where I was like, Ooh, that kind of hurts. Ooh, like that's uncomfortable, but it was never anything where I like audibly was like ow or anything. Um, I, I was saying, I watched a video of this influencer gal who had this done in the UK. Um, and she actually has really sensitive tender breasts and she did say it kind of hurt. Um, for me, it didn't. So it kind of depends on whatever your breasts are like, but um, yeah, they just do it. And then um, they show the images to the doctor. And then in my case, the doctor wanted to come and look. That's just apparently how she is. Like she likes to second uh, check. So she like does it herself. So she came in and squirted more goo and then she did it. Um, and hers was like a fraction of the time that the ultrasound like radiologist gal did it for. Uh, she did it for like probably like 10 minutes or something. It was quite in depth. So it's kind of like uncomfortable. Like you're just like laying there with your arm over your head, like kind of at an angle on this like hospital bed. So it's kind of annoying, but not at all bad. And then this doctor comes in and um, does it again, which like yours might not, if you ever have this done. Um, she just introduced herself. She explained like the breast tissue, the cysts. Sorry, there's lots of bumps here. And yeah, she was just like, everything looks, you know, not alarming. This is what's going on. We'll see you when you're 40 for your mammogram. Or if like anything changes, like just feel free to come by if you need any help with anything. Um, but they were not concerned. So feels so good. Like it's such a sigh of relief. This is exactly what the UK girl heard as well. That it's just like lumpy breasts and that's, that could be normal. Um, so I think it really hit her like way more in terms of like anxiety and like her being like worked up over it, which I completely understand if you are. I just think that for her experience, it was like really weighing on her and she was like really scared to get it done. Whereas for me, like I Googled um, which might not be helpful to some people, but for me, it's super helpful um, when you are like a hypochondriac. I guess it's like, it's it's just like, it has bad things and it has good things about it, but I like to be informed. So I Googled when I heard about it, when I saw my doctor, the primary care doctor, and it says like, you know, you might not even need a, sometimes they have to biopsy if like the cyst isn't like identifiable, I guess, or whatever, if they're concerned. I was a little worried that I was gonna have to get a biopsy, but thank God I didn't. Um, but even then, 80% of everything that's biopsied is benign, it's not cancer. So it's a very, very low chance anyway that you would have breast cancer. So I guess like I went in trying to be logical and like rationalize it with myself because my anxiety just does not rationalize. So I read up about all the types of lumps that there are that aren't cancer. Um, and like how common it is, like mine fluctuates with my cycle and that's very common if it's like fibrocystic stuff. So that's the most common that people have. So just if you ever have anything come up, like 
I know it's scary to like tackle that and like emotionally, but um, it's really important. And like more times than not, it's not cancer. And I don't wanna like say that. So you're like, oh, it's not. And then you go in and it is, but like more often times than not, it isn't. So if you're an anxious person like me, I just wanna like share that good news, tell the good news to the world. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that I could document this. This is part of my Vlogmas day. Um, I think it's just really important info to good people. So now I've hit traffic and I'm on my way home. It's only about one o'clock. So I'm going to have a little bit of lunch when I get home and then, um, we're going to get ready. I have a client holiday party tonight for my HVAC client. I love them so much. I never really get time to like hang out with him. Uh, my copywriter, Jenny and I work with him closely, but we never like our schedules never align. Life gets crazy. Um, and we've had some like dinner parties, but, um, we never really get to like see each other. So, oh God. Yeah. I'm just going to move here. This is not working. Change the lanes that are closed. And I was not about to get over. Anyway, um, I picked up my outfit. I think we'll just kind of finesse it a bit the one on Sunday is the outfit I'm really excited for that like I purchased and I'm like stoked for it um I'm just gonna play around with the one for tonight and see what works all right it is lunchtime I am home we ordered miso for takeout Jared had a little bit of fun money to spend and we were feeling it so today we are just eating out um this is my veggie bowl I just get white rice and I get like these wonton chips, mixed greens, mozzarella, cucumber, carrot, and then the creamy sesame sauce. So good. I'm so hungry. I'm going to see how my tummy does with this. I kind of had like a little bad tummy issue last night. So testing it with this before the big catered dinner tonight. Okay, it's time to pick out the outfit. I have a couple options here, but I want to... See if I can utilize the skirt. I'm not positive. So this is the skirt. It's the black satiny maxi skirt. This glittery top is for Sunday's party. So I almost want to see. We'll see if this works. Let's give it a little run. For a little jewel, I haven't shown you guys this, but Lauren did a collaboration, my best friend, with Tawdry this jewelry brand and they created this gorgeous multi little length piece here this is the outfit and like it's full glory it has a slit very cute i think i'm gonna wear my black heels with it just because like we are already sitting for dinner we won't be walking a ton so i think that is a good option but i do like this very cute and I think this top will go good for today and then on Sunday we will switch to the sparkly one. taken the non-sick days while we can have them so who knows what will happen this weekend but savoring the time we have see Jenny and our lovely client they are just so incredible yeah lovely night felt good to get out felt good to have Jared oh you and your little PJs felt good to have Jared there for once he's not working how did it feel to attend okay yeah, so Jared is coming with me to my second holiday party coming up here very soon. Oh yeah, it's gonna be very fancy. I'm very concerned, but we are Friday, so I'm gonna get this suds all over my face and gonna relax, 
keep catching up on other people's vlogmases. What are you gonna do? Fun game? Uh huh. He likes to achievement hunt. Yep. In games? I do. First when the three Xbox 360 came out in 05. Oh. And and then Rooster Teeth made a you know, their achievement hunter channel. I channel. make fun of him for how he says channel channel. channel. It's him and Brooke Michio. They say it the exact same way and I don't know what the accent is. Like I'm know. very confused. And so they started doing guides on that for a little bit and then they branched and evolved and all that stuff. Well, that's good. Uh, each game, though, is a thousand gamers for it. So, um, I, for my account, over the last uh, 13 years, I have 180,000 <laughs> gamers for it, which is, that's a lot. Yeah. I'm going to call it a night. Thanks for joining us. For I've, Vlogmas Day 10. I've been doing that the whole time. <laughs> I know. He always likes to, like, fuck around the camera and see if I, like, notice him doing things. Um, anyway, right. we're going to call it a day. It's been quite a day. Tomorrow we have so much fun planned. I'm so excited. I do. I do. So I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 11.